that about why we eat meat? You might say it's because of the protein, but why do we depend on animals for protein and they don't depend on us for anything? The truth is, we don't need to get protein from just animals because we can get them in fruits and vegetables. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about exactly what meat does to you, and we'll see how many of you still want to eat it by the end of this speech. First is, it gives you a lot of diseases. The first one is heart disease. As you can see, the top artery is healthy and it has no obstruction to the blood flow. But then the second one, it has that yellow stuff, which is plaque. And in meat, that's just the saturated fats and the sodium that block the blood flow and make it hard for it to <coughs> do what it has to do. And this can lead to a stroke. And a stroke is um, when blood flow is stopped to the brain for a few seconds and the brain doesn't get the blood and the oxygen and the brain cells start to die. Some symptoms are dizziness, confusion, double vision, and loss of balance. Another disease it can lead to is cancer. And it can lead to cancer because it's high in fat, which include which increase the um, hormone production, which makes it easier for you to get prostate and breast cancer. Meat is high in protein, so it's broken down to um, ammonia, which can be a carcin carcinogenic to us. Carcinogenic substance is, carcinogenic is when a substance or, or radiation is involved in causing cancer. The next disease is E. coli. And it's an infection you get when you come into contact with the feces of an animal or a human. Some are harmless, but some cause um, anemia or kidney failure, which can lead to death. Next is the effects eating meat has on you. And it slows down, your, makes your metabolism less effective, and um, increases the waste. And this happens because to break down the meat, your body needs to make a lot of hydrochloric acid. And the body, <coughs> our bodies don't make as much as is needed to properly digest it as much as animals do. So it just won't get broken down as well. And you also get less energy because of all the energy that it takes to break down the meat itself. Some healthy alternatives are fruits and um, veggie smoothies, uh, veggie burgers, and salmon. Um, I do all three of these. I feel like it makes it easier for me to be a vegetarian. Um, in conclusion, meat has more pros, more cons than pros, and I talked about some diseases, reactions, and better alternatives. I dare you try it and see if you can go a week without eating any meat. And thank you.